program called Live and in Person. She pulled something together, and for some reason, she got an, Army, an, an Emmy nomination out of it <laughs> as Best Performer in a Comedy Variety Program. Will you please help me welcome Ernestine? <laughs> Joan, it's such a pleasure. Well, it's just... <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you here, man. And my fans. Yeah, and I... I it's, it's... You must be absolutely... It's about time for all of us, isn't it? <laughs> you must be absolutely thrilled to have gotten the Emmy nomination. Well, I'll tell you the truth. It takes a lot to thrill me, Joan. <laughs> Well, I've been at the phone company 15 years and I don't even have a gold watch. I've been in show business a matter of weeks and I already have an Emmy nomination. I'm a natural. <laughs> it's because I respect my instrument. I don't use drugs, I don't use alcohol. I am the new Hollywood. <laughs> the old Hollywood's at Betty Ford's. <laughs> who, who are you up against, can I ask, for the Emmy? Well, let's not talk about anyone else, shall we? That's, I have a feeling you're gonna, you're gonna go, of course. Oh, I am going. Do you have a date? Do you have a date? Who are you? Hi. Do I have a date? Yes. Of course I do. I know I'm so sympathetic, but you're the only one who has trouble getting dates. <laughs> May I ask who your dates are? Because nobody's ever heard this about Ernestine before. Your well, private life. Well, if I revealed who I'm seeing right now, I think it would swing the election. <laughs> <laughs> Would you, um, if you won? It was a little tense out here earlier, wasn't it? <laughs> well, things happen. That's what makes life interesting. What about you? For you. <laughs> Do you have an acceptance speech? Oh, I always have an acceptance speech, but there's really no one to thank but myself. <laughs> I've worked for everything I'm, I'm getting, and I deserve it. <laughs> Is the phone company going to miss you? Are you going to miss the phone I, company? I'm not going to miss the phone company as much as I might have in the past, Joan. You know, since the divestiture. I mean, they have no power anymore, and I love power. <laughs> I mean, I'm like a moth to flame when it comes to power. But I am against the bomb, and I'm against the nuclear arms race, because I am against anything that endangers my career. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you, because you look great now, very showbiz, you know. You have great legs. What are you, you going to wear to the Emmys? Are you going to dress I have like a beautiful this? gown? I want you to see it. I'm so excited. Rhett Turner designed it. He owes me. <laughs> Almost everybody owes me. I've got tapes on everyone, <laughs> including you. <laughs> what is the gown going to look like? It's quite beautiful. It's white bugle beads with a slit up here because I do have good legs, as, as you've noticed. Yes, I, I thought they look wonderful. And then it has a rather beautiful, well, I don't really want to reveal it. Will and, you... I, and Julio's taking me, and I don't want him to know what I'm wearing. You're going with Julio and Glacis? I am. Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> Can I ask you this? After the Emmys, I'm seeing Warren Beatty, but you know, I find those men so feminine. <laughs> <laughs> Who of you... I mean, I, this is a whole different Ernestine than many of us. Well, I was trapped now. at the switchboard. <laughs> a Me woman's needs must be met. <laughs> who, who were you dating before when you weren't in? Sh <laughs> Let's do this commercial, and we'll discuss more about you your needs. Underestimate yourself. <laughs> Right back. <laughs> oh, now, uh -uh. They're reaching out in new directions. Oh, please. They're reaching out in the same direction they always have for your wallet. Am I right? Look, take my advice. Do what I did. Switch to MCI. They'll save you money on every long-distance call you make to any other state from coast to coast. And they'll keep their hands to themselves. Call MCI. Now there's no monthly fee, so you can start saving 5 to 40% on your out-of-state calls.
talking with Ernestine. You seem suddenly so angry at the phone company. Well, I am. Me. It's not I, that I'm angry at the phone company. I'm angry at the public for allowing the divestiture. I mean, this finger and I have served America. <laughs> I have switchboard hump from years of doing this. I have shoulder bursitis from doing this, wrist gout from doing this, chronic skin rash from doing this. <laughs> <laughs> but the pain and disfigurement was unbearable. But now you're in show business. You're rehearsing. Somebody. I am rehearsing my act. You're going to have an act? Yes, I think as soon as the Emmys are over, the offers will start pouring in. I want to be ready. C could you show us a little of your act? Don't you push me. <laughs> we talked about this before the show. This is just your technique, Rivers. You don't push me for free entertainment. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I can hold my own. I can hold my own with the biggest of them. You're going to be meeting big people now. Oh, I've, met, them. I've met them again. all. There's almost no biggie I haven't put on hold. <laughs> Dreary, very dreary. Did you ever listen in? Why wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Have I ever listened in? <laughs> How naive. <laughs> Let me ask you, now that you're in show business, because people really never knew that much about you. <laughs> Gonna date now. The public loves a newcomer. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you, you think you would be dating now? Have you, you have dated. I'll tell you, if the perfect man was out there, there'd be a no vacancy sign on this finger. <laughs> Why aren't you dating? It's Bia? hard for men to relate to me. I mean, they have to be strong, significant. Why don't you go out with Vito, somebody? Oh, I knew Vito. He's sweet. I had a couch put in the ladies' room at the phone company, but I, I hated <laughs> to do it, but I had to hurt him. <laughs> I just had to. He really wasn't up to me. I'm a person with new vistas and new horizons. What about your family? Strong women always leave their men behind. <laughs> <laughs> what about your family? Do they want you to get married, Ernestine? Because my how old family, are you? does my family want me to get married? Just asking. How archaic. <laughs> <laughs> so old fashioned. You've been sucking up to Nancy and Ronnie for too long. <laughs> Don't, wouldn't you like to get back? I'm a career woman. Yes, but you could have both. How old are you? <laughs> About. Here, put your finger over this live plane. <laughs> I'm 35. You look 25, because yeah. in these times, in these times, as Gloria Steinem would say, a decade is chopped right off your, your age, your chronology. What about children, though? Like, wouldn't you like to have children or something like that? I would, Joan. I don't know why you had to bring something up like this. Sorry. Because, well, it's saddening because I don't have children, and I would like to have some little tykes walking around the house, little sweethearts, little pitter-patter. I know you're going to adopt a child. I thought maybe I could have Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just on weekends, perhaps. Just for fun. Because I think you'd make a wonderful mother. I think I would, too. Have I you, really do. Have you ever gotten close to being married? or to, Who was the first man you ever dated? Oh, I've had proposals. Oh. The first man I ever dated, I couldn't possibly divulge that now. <laughs> Is it a famous name? No, it hurts their loved ones. <laughs> when they're home, they're home sitting in a suburban tract house, and they see me on television, famous, popular, dynamic. It makes the other people in the family insecure. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back at this commercial, so please, stay tuned. We are back. Tonight. I just want to thank the Ernestine Tomlin fan club for being here tonight. Yes, it's wonderful to have a fan club. Aren't you lucky?